So I wanted to do a little video on how you can do your makeup for video conference calls. Whether you're having a house party with your friends or whether you are Zooming your lecturer or your colleague, we're all using video calls right now. It ain't the easiest, so let me help you. This is just water, <laughs> I don't know why I'm holding it like it's wine. By the way, if you notice I'm in a completely new environment and you missed my previous videos, hi, this is Sam's room. I am currently living with my boyfriend while we're in lockdown and I'm using one of his best friend's rooms to film my video. Woo, okay, cool. There is one big rule about video conferencing if you wanna look your absolute best and that is stand by a window. Sit by a window. Make sure you are facing the window and getting as much natural light as possible. That is the number one way, the number one way where you will look better on video calls. So I have a tiny bit of makeup on right now, just used it earlier to shoot a pic. And now I'm gonna just add more to it. I think that's fine, right? I would start by saying, don't worry too much about concealing because ultimately, like these are low quality video calls a lot of the time. People can't see every pore, like it's not high definition. So I would focus more on creating dimension in your face so you don't just look like one big moon. I'm just gonna accentuate a bit more dimension in my face. I'm not gonna try and conceal or cover everything up or create a big like face of foundation. You don't necessarily want a blank canvas. You wanna just accentuate what you've already got. I was such a weird mood today, I'm so sorry. So I am using this Milk Makeup, what is this? Sunshine Skin Tint, which is amazing. It's gonna make me quite glowy, so I might have to powder down a bit later so I don't like glint in the sun, but um, yeah. I just think it's great for really light to medium coverage. This is my everyday foundation because it's what I really like, but ultimately I think it's really good for video conferencing. Do people call them video conferences? It makes me sound like I'm gonna be like, I'm a page you. I'm just blending this in with my fingers, partially because I forgot a blending brush or sponge. I think that's another really important part of this whole video conference makeup thing. You don't wanna spend more than 10 minutes getting ready because ultimately, like you're not going out. <laughs> Do you think, I don't know, when I'm not going somewhere fancy, I just wanna look a bit more perfected and a bit like, not like I've got corona. That's my main aim from wearing makeup at the moment. So that took like a minute and a half, two minutes, and I just have some like basic concealing done. To conceal, again, I'm just gonna use my Glossier concealer. I think it's called the Stretch Concealer. This is the shade G11. I'm just gonna add this, again, super light concealer, just under my eyes, just to add a little extra coverage and make sure I don't look tired from staying up and binge watching all the series I've been watching. All that Disney Plus, I'm telling you now. I've been watching a bit of The Mandalorian. I'm quite enjoying it. I keep calling him The Mandalorian Man and it's really annoying Jack. I've just added a little bit of coverage on my under eyes because I think they just show often times like exactly how you're doing. You wanna look healthy. Healthy is the main thing and it's the main thing that shows up on calls, not just in this kind of unprecedented time. So I'm gonna add some bronzer. You could also do blush. This is just my Marc Jacobs bronzer, the Omega bronzer. So maybe add a little more than you would normally. I also put some on my forehead to try and make my forehead look slightly smaller. And hopefully I just look like I've been sun-kissed while I've been working in my office. Not that I have an office, let's be real. And now we do a little bit of highlight. I'm such a sucker. You could go ham on the highlight, to be honest, but I am just gonna use the Gen G Haloscope. It's not called Gen G, is it? It's called the Glossier Haloscope. Come on, loose. You could add a powder highlighter. I think highlight just looks really good on video calls so long as it's in the right places, which generally is like a nice glow across your cheeks. Maybe along down your nose, I do the end of my nose because my nose is quite thin, so I don't want to accentuate the thinness of it. And then on my upper lip, people will just be like, wow, she spent a lot of time in her garden. You've been reading a book in the sun. So yes, I'm now glowing. This is the part where I'm gonna add lip balm because as soon as I drink any coffee, my lips are just the driest thing in the whole world. This is also the best lip balm. If you don't use Palmer's Cocoa Butter, what are you using? Like, what's the point? This is the part where I quickly, quickly powder down just like some of the areas which probably shouldn't be glowing as much as they currently are. My forehead is like a beacon that guides ships to the shore. Now this is maybe the most important part of your face in my opinion, it's your brows. When you're on calls, I think your brows like express so much of what you're trying to say um, and like come with your facial expressions, but also like they just look great when they're really well defined. So when all you've got is highlight and shadow, which a lot of the time is kind of what you're working with on video calls, your brows are a big bit of like expressive shadow. So let's work with that. Define your brows however you define them, but do not forget them. 
I'm using the Glossier, what is this called? The Glossier Brow Flick. So I just draw in extra hairs where the hair would be. And then if I do a line that's a little too dark, I pat it out. I'm so shaky holding this mirror today. I don't know what's got into me. How do people who shake all the time do this? And then as part of my brow defining, my second step is that I brush them through with Boy Brow, again from Glossier. Glossier does a lot of my go-to makeup. It just adds a bit of extra filler, <laughs> a bit of extra shape and dimension and holds them in place. Now let's move on to eyes. Eyes are the thing that I would argue is the darkest part of your face other than your jawline and your um, cheekbone, like the underneath of your cheekbone when you're looking directly at someone on Zoom or on Skype or whatever, because eyes often sit a bit further back in the face. So I would say try not to do a big smoky shadow look, try and keep them looking bright and open and light. So if you are someone who is like, no, I need to wear something on my eye area, like, or I feel naked, I would recommend doing a winged liner because then that's defining as opposed to like sinking you back in. I feel like all of my makeup that I brought here is Marc Jacobs or Glossier. I promise I do use other brands. You'll see me in two seconds once this is applied because it's not gonna go well if I just do it in this mirror. So I'll see you in a sec. So you know how they say liner is sisters, not twins. I think today I have a strange sisters. Eyeliner never goes well when it's on camera. Liner is on, let's do mascara. Mascara, just as normal. I would always recommend curling your lashes because it just opens your eye out and makes you look so much more awake. I also think curling your lashes really aids application. I always apply my mascara better when I've curled my lashes. I think because it like separates them a bit. I always pull such a stupid face when I do my mascara. I don't know why. Again, not my best eyes, but everyone's only seeing them in standard definition. Eyes are framed, face is defined, brows are defined. Now for lips. So I've seen a lot of advice out there that says you should not do a bold lip. I think you can do a bold lip if you wanna do a bold lip, if that's your thing. I think it looks nice on camera, especially on like lower quality cameras. I think it looks really nice. But um, I'm gonna just stick with a neutral one and give advice on that because I think that's maybe slightly I don't know, maybe there's slightly more to say about that. So when it comes to lips on Zoom calls, I would use a lip liner because you can go around, slightly around the edge of your lips and slightly over line. And then you create a really nice defined lip that I think makes everyone look sexy. But especially when you have a poor quality camera that might like distort your face or make everything look smaller and weirder. So I would always go for like a neutral color, but really like define the lip to like bring it out. And I always like to slightly overline. I think it's really nice. I'm just using a matte shade. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Malibu. No, this is Dolce K. I am wrong. These are so good. I know everyone shits on Kylie Cosmetics, but actually the products are so good. So I just go just right to the edge and then I fill in the middle of my lip. I quite like them looking one dimensional and matte because that's just my thing. But if you want to add a little bit more definition, you could either do another color, maybe lighter or darker. I would go lighter, I guess, in the middle and then ombre it out or a darker color around the edge and ombre that out or just add a little bit of lip gloss. I am using the Nude Sticks. What shade is this? Cause it's so nice. This is the Nude 06 from Nude Sticks and it smells like chocolate chip mint. It's just lovely. Not too much that it's overpowering though. I really don't love smelly, smelly things. Just added a bit to the middle to make them look round, to make my lips look like bigger. I don't know, just a bit more dimension. Dimensional, dimensional? I don't know. But yeah, so this is the makeup I would do if I was gonna put on makeup for a video call, whether that is a pub quiz with my friends on Zoom or a Skype meeting or a lecture, a digital lecture, like whatever you're doing, this is the makeup I put on to be like, I'm ready, I'm ready for this. Get ready, boys and girls. I also have really terrible hay fever. If I sound bunged up, that's why. As we all know, I'm allergic to everything and that includes grass and pollen. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps give you some ideas for what you can do with your face and your makeup while you are indoors in the house and also talking to people all the bloody time because that's all we seem to do at the moment. Let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see in the description and make sure you subscribe and I will see you in my next video. I'm done.